Hello everyone, we are here with Firewatch. This is another walking simulator sort of game. And what? Okay, the menu moves with my mouse. I just check the settings. Graphics. Okay. Don't really want spoilers on that. Let's get into it. You see Julia? She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Let's go with this. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She says, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. What did she hurt your feelings? She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Wow. Damn. What? Okay. Sensitivity is a little high there. Uh, controls. Ah, much better. Pick up. Guessing there's nowhere else to go. I'm an explorer, so I explore every corners of the map before I leave. Wait, am I supposed to manually drive that? It's not gonna play an animation. Load care. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out of the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. It's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her with she wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while she's while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. 
I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots, that would be pretty good. One day, why rush? That would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Oh, I can zoom in with the right. Okay, wow. Two forks. Thoroughfare trailhead. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Warning. Thorough fall trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and get getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole, bro. Okay, chill. She tells you to fuck her, fuck yourself, and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like the Victoria's Secret model. Yep. Very nice. Great success. Ooh. It's dusk already. It's getting dark. 1982. During the summer, you and Julia Enjoy a walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Ba fuck! The dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Oh, you beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat, the guy, you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans, have, plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. I agree if she commutes back and forth. Wow. So I'm not moving at all, huh? You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. Tell her not to pass it up if she's if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. That's not nice. Julia, 1985. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily, happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk 
to someone about it, you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. No. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, I can't move, okay. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia you get Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Can I go back? I just ends here, okay. Whoa. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Guess you put a chair. No. You trust. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night, you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point one and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it.
Is this the job? Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. You're okay, rebelling against mom? Um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. I have to watch for fires. Fire watch. slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. What's written? I can't read. It's kind of small. Tomorrow's the big day something. Okay. Hey. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, fireworks. And to use compass. Are those fucking fireworks? Okay. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? Do you think you can handle that? Not really the discipline. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. 
Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's wow. actually that for all of them. This <laughs> is secure. secure. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How do I how do I read the map? Oh, always stick to the trailhead. Space bar to climb over obstacles. I'm doing it. Wait, what? Ah. I need both my hands for it, huh? I guess that's the box. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? What's the code again? I found the supply box. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. I found the supply box. Great. Hey, what's Duh. the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. What the hell? What, what is the option for? Okay. What? Oh. One, two, three, four. Copy information? Oh yeah. Note. Ron. Hey man, guy couldn't take it so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked. Hiking to the park. and But let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Okay. Keep. Pinecone. Can I keep a pinecone? Yeet. Okay. Granola bar. Deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. Okay. Let's get the granola bar as well. Eat it. What does the map say? Cash, two force lookout is there. Medicine wheel is down. Okay. Am I not supposed to lock it? Oh, what? Is that blocking my path? It is. R to toggle jogging. I am pressing R. What is happening? Toggle jogging. Read hold object. Quick save. 
Okay. Ah, okay, I can use that. Uh, but I still want it on thumb buttons, which is not working. Compass is so far. Flashlight is F, that's fine. Ah, there it is. My R was not working for some reason then. Oh. I can't, I can't jog if I'm holding stuff. Okay. Shale slide. It's steep. Rope hook. How do I... How do I attach my... Ah, oh, from this side, okay. Oh! No, no. Oh god! Oh god! Ow! snapped coming down the shale slide you didn't break anything did you no i think i'll make it well be careful for christ's sake where are they gone port meadow these cliffs down here are something hell of a nice camping spot a hell of a nice camping spot down i see you guys there <laughs> Years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Clean up. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Oh yeah, come on, let's go. I hear music. I see some bags. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Ugh. Well, confiscate them. What, you guys in skinny dipping? Right, looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that uh -oh. be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? <laughs> There's a... Uh, Ooh. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay, let's do the job. 
I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Yeah, it is. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy. The Sizzler. Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. She's just But they just ran away. Hey, that go okay? Uh, it went fine. Fine. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Where is it? So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna throw it in the water. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or... <sighs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps. Let's swim in this? You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, oh, no. Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. That's too bad. Okay, let's head back. Uh, can go to the other side of this. What does it say? I can go right over here. Oh, well, it's blocked. I just walk through all this stuff. No, I can't. Wait, what? How do I clear? Maybe a knife? So they just left their stuff down here, but it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake, right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great, okay? Right. Uh, whoops. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Okay, I can't check. Oh, no. I'm gonna switch the controls. Feels weird. Toggle jog, let's make it. The, oh, no. Uh, Raise radio, let's make that R. Toggle job, make it shift. Change that to caps lock. There we go. Much better. Oh. 
What do you mean report meadow? Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. West towards the lake and north towards the canyon? <laughs> Is this... N Am I going the right way here? Pears, pears, pears! Yes! What? Ah, oh, how do I put that away? Is this the code? Is this some sort of code I missed? Are we evacuating or something? <laughs> no. Then what then? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. This is afternoon? What is this area for? So where am I? Ah. Why is there a lag? Ah. Oh. I don't suppose I can go that way. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, okay, so from these rocks, where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail at the far east side of it. Go back to the lake. I mean, all the way back to the lake. Ah, okay. Turn north. I mean, oh, this spot. Oh, so this is the part that I was seeing. But from the other end. Yep. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim. Even if the last people to do so were assholes. Is that a bottle? Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. There's another box here. Three zero five. Um I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. What do you mean? Uh sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout and every lookout for the first time in twenty years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean... The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. 
Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I'm not sure I have much of a choice. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, Whoa, they're cool. If it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> this cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. <laughs> ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. Hello? Okay, let's go ahead. Is that a bear? No. Oh god. What? There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's haunted. It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. You climb up here or take that route? I guess I'm taking this route. Oh, I just come up here, bruh. Oh! 
Oh no. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Oh, God. How do I use it? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, what? What? What the fuck? Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Ate the hard way. What? Why can't I put it back? Is there no putting it back option? Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? No. Maybe the guy in the canyon. Who is out here? The girls at the lake. Maybe the guy the guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. I still need to the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Aww. Wake up. I am awake. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no I backup? Really know why that would be the case. 
There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Ah, oh, photo with Julia. Her face is not even visible. Okay then, I think this is where I'm gonna stop, just finish day one, don't wanna start day two yet. So Firewatch is about, I guess, watching for fires in this forest. Hmm, it's actually a nice job. Okay then, I'll see you in the next one, tomorrow for day two, bye bye.